Okay, Witch's Root January. Unboxing, as you saw in my little short clip of video that they sent me my replacement box, but also sent me the January box. I am super, that is just like, just blows my mind. Thanks so much, Witch's Roots, for doing that. Like that is like above and beyond what I was expecting. So yeah, so yeah. I like surprises and I like gifts and it's February and it's my birth month. So really presents, I don't know why I'm drinking coffee came back on me a bit. So the theme, the theme would be that the paper is folded wrong, so I can't just flip it open. Goddess of Wealth. This might help in my new venture in life, being an eBay reseller. This may. As we step into the lighter months of the years, uh, I just have to make sure it's recording. Uh, months of the years, we bask in the bright and beautiful emotions of our new opportunity, growth, and renewed hope. It is during these months that we stand above the clouds, able to clearly see our purpose and transformation. In this very special collection, we work with such delicate and peaceful energies, supporting us in obtaining new wealth, prosperity, and abundance in our lives. Wealth is not, wealth is not always associated with physical currency, but rather the amount of blessings, companionship, and understanding that fills our experiences. I will not cry. I will not cry. Let's start this again. So what it was saying in here, like I've been having, and I will not cry. <laughs> I'm having some issues with some friends and the fact that they cannot handle that I am needing their attention and support right now which is total reverse of how I've always lived and been with people. I've always been the giver, not the taker. Now I am like demanding to be recognized, rec not recognized. Um, I just need their support. It's not a recognition thing. It's like, let's flip these tables once in a while because I'm having some serious bad days. And here we go again. I will not cry. So what that paperwork said was very on point um, needing the wealth of the companionship and the understanding and all this stuff. It's just like so incredibly important right now for my health and well-being and mental well-being, really. Oh my goodness, somebody's walking out in the snowstorm. People are crazy. I should go out there and I'm like, you need a ride? I am going out today. But anyway, let's get onto this box. I'm going to start showing you what's in it. Okay, let's get back into this. So I'm not going to totally read into that. So on the top of the box, I have taken nothing up but that paper so far. We have got a card on Saskimi. I'm going to have to read this. Oh my goodness, now I'm getting a hot flash. Thanks for being there for me, Saskimi or whatever <laughs> That's the thing about our weather. Actually, yesterday it was like minus four, whatever that is in Fahrenheit. I don't know that Celsius. So it was a very mild day. It was like beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's like, it's that feeling you get when you're um, from your winter into your spring. It was just a gorgeous day. But today we got a snowstorm. So it's going to plummet a tad. So we've got this card. Sorry. And I am using my phone to record today because I am leaving my batteries charged for my thrift haul. I might go pro. But I wasn't expecting this to come, so this is this is awesome. And I'm just so bad with these things. I don't know if this is Rocky Mountain. No, this must be the stone. I can't read. I just can't read that. Um here. Maybe you can read it. I when I read it in the paperwork, it'll probably make all like make sense to me. So let's get into this box. And this box smells amazing, by the way. So we'll go for the candle first. Oh, did you see that? The last one, last many. This looks very similar to last month's candle. It's like a honey soft yellow. Let's see. And by the way, this little note they put in there was just saying that they're going to be upping the shipping a little bit by $1. Not a big deal, really. So 
inflation, I say. Oh no, that was a teal candle. So, but either I have received the same color of candle. I'm sorry, I was just checking the other box. The same color of candle in a large candle, possibly in the witch's moon box or in a small box. But you know, I love, I love those candles. Yes. And we've got, well, no, that was an earth card. Okay, I read Rocky Mountains. I should have known there's like a big lens on it that this was Casaro Casara Sagrada Casara Sagrada I've never heard of this in my life but it smells really good tiny bits I'm smelling a little bit of fruit in there actually but woodsy so interesting interesting and we have got two things kind of stuck together. We'll go for this one, which is the anointing oil, which they send in every single box. And there's a Lemurian um, crystal in every bottle. Usually you can hear it like in there. And they, this is goddess, pers uh, goddess, Prosperity. Prosperity. Apparently I need a little bit more of this in my life. Prosperity. Prosperity. <laughs> oh boy. I think I'm just like overwhelmed right now because I didn't realize. I didn't realize the day would be playing out this way. So this is, this is a very exciting Let's see, is it going to focus on my phone? Seems the only way you can focus the phone is to touch it. And I still don't want to focus. Hmm. Well, God is prosperity. Prosperity. <laughs> what is in here? Oh my goodness. It is a little goddess statue. Get on in there. I can see it through the bag. You can't see it through the bag. I can see it through the bag. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about this. Open, open says me. <gasps> Beautiful. I think whatever sticker may have been on there was pulled off. I can feel the stickiness on the bottom. My neighbors are coughing up a one again. Sorry, they, they enjoy in the, what do they call it? They enjoy in the happy smoke? I don't know. But why they would be doing it first thing in the morning. That is so beautiful. Let's see how close I can get before it tells me. I am not focusing for you. Just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I love that. Okay. And the next thing we just oh that was like that was the big thing but that was a better big thing than last month's. I love the table and everything. I've actually used it once. Soul is the incense. As always, smells amazing. You know my kitty thinks he's gonna get all up in my stuff. I should have known this box. Where did I throw now? This box that I showed you in the other video was a little bit too monstrous. Like, I just thought, oh, overkill, right? So anyway, that's the end of that box. I should maybe do a little... Re there was no crystal. <laughs> there was no crystal. I, oh, people, sometimes I shouldn't even get out of bed. And I did get up early because I had plans today, but uh, those plans have been thrown to the wayside. So, one of the other YouTubers was saying that this is not a citron and that it was, um, what did they call it? Um, amethyst. You know, when they turn amethyst yellow. Now, that's fine with me because, like I said, it's my birth month and ameth amethyst is my birthstone, so this will be like literally like dual purpose for me oh come on focus 
Just focus. It's too pretty not to show you out. Anyway. So the, okay, Cascara Sagrada. Cascara Sagrada. That is this. This is, is a very unique and powerful bark and originally comes from the species of buckthorn and is distributed throughout America, Pacific, Northwest, and British Columbia. Kitty, don't make noise. Go play your... Mr. Man's over there now being quiet and napping. So, cascara is commonly found along streams and in forests of valleys and in moist, overgrown areas. This bark was called the sacred bark by the Spanish, originally adopted by the indigenous peoples of the Pacific Northwest, and was aged for 12 months to be included... Oh, it can be included in specific teas and brews that would ease stomach ailments. In addition to its specific health benefits, Cascara Sagrada is a wonderful, is a wonderfully magical bark among many practitioners. It is used in court cases. So either burn this on um, charcoal is what it says, or keep it in a mojo bag on you and things might be favorable. But it's just a lucky herb or herb all around. I need a sip of coffee. And then I need to finish this up so I can go through a thing. I'm not rushing you at all. I'm rushing myself. So the next thing we will show you is the artwork, the grimoire page. These are always um, done up by A.E. Alden, written and illustrated. And they're always beautiful. Like, it's, it is a thing. I have a hard time reading this because of the font that he uses, but... The statuette Lakshmi, Lakshmi, oh, she's going crazy. Uh, she is one of the most beloved goddesses in the Hindu pantheon. She represents and holds the power of wealth, fortune, beauty, and abundance. Known as a sacred goddess of merchants, she bestows wonderful kindness to those that call upon her. It is said that she sprinkles lotus petals on your path to remind you of the sweetness of life. In addition to being the goddess of wealth, she provides relief during times of stress, fear, and panic. That will be very... I don't know where she was going while I was talking, but there she goes. Pretty. And the citron. So I don't know enough about citron and the heating process of amethyst, turning it into something like this. But you know what? It doesn't matter to me because like I said, amethyst is my birthstone. And regardless if this is pure or not, I have a real citron and it's more of a murky yellow, a little bit of clear in it. This does look very cracked. I don't know if that's a distinguishing feature. Oh, look at that flash in there. <gasps> so pretty. Or is that just some kind of... It might be just a reflection. So I just better calm myself down. Wow, is it getting worse out there? I'm still going to the thrift store. It's only half a mile away. So citron tumbled stone. So yes, like I was saying, yeah, citron's a very expensive stone. So I'm not sure if they would add it in this box. But I don't care regardless. I do love crystals. And I like what they do for us. An abundant and wonderful manif manifestation stone. Citron is one of our favorite allies while working to strengthen our personal will, creativity, and mental clarity. So that's all. So we have hand rolled this golden aura mini spell candle with the intention of enhancing the visualization you have of the energies around you. Smell beautiful. And Goddess the next. of prosperity, magical, magical anointing oil. Um, this has been created to draw new opportunities, prosperity, and wealth in your life to your life. As you anoint your skin or ritual tools, visualize pulsing, a pulsing glow to all that it touches. We have enchanted this anointing oil with basil, almond, cinnamon, ginger, and cedarwood oils, and have included calendula and basil herbs as well. Inside your oil, you will find a quartz crystal set to personify oneness to your... It doesn't say Lemurian quartz this time. There's a quartz crystal in there. Like, I don't know if you can see. It's really hard to see, but they always... I mean, putting blocking the light's not going to help. 
these bottles are always full of so much goodness okay that is it for this box i am super excited to have gotten this box i'm super grateful to have gotten this box to have gotten this box <laughs> because i wasn't expecting it i was expecting a replacement for my december box i wasn't expecting them to send me two boxes thanks so much again witches roots thanks for joining me everybody um if you haven't yet and you like the videos i'm putting out do like subscribe and possibly comment that you are a fan fandom sorry i'm i feel like i'm all like my clothing is just thrown on and i look sideways anyway i'll see you in my next video and i will be making another youtube for my thrifting just have to throw that in there once again bye